Hello and welcome to another quick tip for Logic Pro. If this is the sort of thing you find useful, don't forget to like and subscribe and tell your friends. Today we're looking at note velocity, expression and dynamics, three elements that can make your compositions really come alive. The first one is note velocity. In this percussion part, you can hear some of the notes are much louder than the others. For a smoother ramping effect, we can open up the automation from this button that shows two linking points. This is available in the top tracks area and the piano roll. I tend to leave the tracks area for editing volume, the others I will edit in the piano roll. Let's even up those rolls by using the pencil tool and dragging from before the first note to after the last note. You will now hear a much smoother build. Let's look at an orchestral instrument like the horns. You can hear this sounds okay at the moment. But string, wood and brass players can impart a lot of feeling into their playing by how hard they bow or blow their instruments. This is what we call dynamics and is commonly set to CC1 which is also the modulation wheel. We can get the player to blow harder by increasing this parameter. Or softer. To add realism to our music, we can change this as notes play by opening the automation parameters and selecting modulation. You can now either draw in the modulation changes with the pencil tool, or use the pointer tool to click and move points. It's worth experimenting which one works best for you. Most composers use controllers to input this information, but they aren't essential and it's good practice so you know how the controls will affect an instrument. Finally, we have expression on CC11, and this controls the relative volume of an instrument. So, at 100%, it will match the volume you've set for your track. You will most likely find that you use this in a similar pattern to the dynamics. As you would expect, an instrument to become louder if it is blown, hit, or bowed harder. That's it for today's quick tip. If you've got time, don't forget to like and subscribe to find more videos like this. I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.